Welcome, Atrons. So today I'm going to be doing Reptile for Mortal Kombat. I don't know why I decided to do this one. It wasn't a request technically to do Reptile, but I have been asked numerous times to do characters from Mortal Kombat, and I decided to do Reptile. So yeah, um, my next video is actually going to be my entry into the NYX Face Awards. If you don't know what the NYX Face Awards is, is a competition with obviously NYX Cosmetics, and you um, kind of do what I do here and make fancy looks with makeup, obviously. If you want to, you can look into it yourself. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, on what you think I should do for the next Face Awards entry, uh, just let me know. My phone's ringing. Other than that, uh, let's just get started on this reptile look. So I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and sketching out my design. And then taking black from my Peron, Peron? Taking black from my Mayron Paradise palette, I'm filling in the black portion of the mask, which is mainly the forehead and those little strips going around the eyes as well as dragging down past the nose. Next I'm taking gray from my Mayron Tropical Paint palette and I'm going to be filling in the gray sections, which is the bottom portion of the mask. Next I'm taking silver from the Mayron Metallic palette and I'm going to be outlining that black section on the bottom portion of the mask. And then I'm going to be taking some black matte eyeshadow from Ulta and I'm going to be filling underneath that silver. Do not cover the silver or else that totally negates putting the silver there in the first place. Next I'm taking black on a detailed brush and I'm going to be starting my lines inside the mask. And I started off by adding a line in between my lips. This was to start hiding my lips as best as possible. So I wanted to kind of start right there. And then I just started working my way down. I also put a line directly underneath my bottom lip since my bottom lip is quite large. I needed to make sure that that line kind of negated the largeness of my lip and that would help hide my mouth. And then when I moved on to the lines on the side of the mask, I just made them in a curved motion. Next I went ahead and grabbed some white paradise paint and I just stuck that on one side of the black stripe. And then taking some black matte eyeshadow again, I'm just going to be adding some shadows around those lines as well as deepening up any of the ones that I kind of covered after adding the lines. And now taking green from that paradise paint palette, I'm going to be filling in that eye hole section finally. And then taking white from the Paradise palette, I'm going to be adding some highlights to the mask itself. As well as taking some white on my finger and dabbing it into the black sections. This is to make the mask look a little bit more like leathery. It's just to give it some texture so it's not just a black blob. And then I grabbed some silver and added a line going across my nose bridge and going underneath the green section, but not all the way to the end. It just kind of like tapers away. And then grabbing some dark green matte eyeshadow from Ulta, I'm going to be starting to add some wrinkles inside the green portion. This is because it's his reptile-like skin. And taking some black matte eyeshadow to deepen up any of those wrinkles, as well as adding the black and green to my lids. And then getting some white body paint again, I'm going to be adding some highlights to those wrinkles and just dabbing it with my finger to blend it into that green to kind of make a light green color. You could also just use a light green body paint, but this is just what I did. And taking that jumbo eye pencil again, I'm going to be sketching out the body portion, but then I kind of just uh, erased it anyway, so it was kind of pointless. And taking black body paint again, I'm going to be filling in the neck piece. Thank you. 
as well as those stripes, or I guess straps rather, not stripes. And then getting green from the Paradise Paint, the same one I used on my face, I'm going to be filling in his chest piece. As well as getting black body paint and filling in the side of those green. It's like his little chest plate, I guess. And I also added a dusting of gold eyeshadow to that green section just to make it separate from the green body I'm about to paint on. And then taking that same green again, like I said, I'm going to be filling in the rest of my body. And this is why I added the gold dusting to the chest plate. Now you can actually tell there's a difference. And then taking some of that black matte eyeshadow again, I'm going to be adding some shadowing underneath those straps. And then getting a detailed brush and a white body paint, I'm going to be filling in little stitching marks and I'm going to go all around all the straps. As well as dragging some of the stitching down the middle of the neck piece and going all around the bottom of that same neck piece. And then taking a stipple sponge in three different shades of green, a dark, a medium, and a light green. I'm going to be stippling that all around the skin of reptile, so the chest piece and then a little bit inside the eye holes as well. This is just to give his skin some reptile-like texture. And then I did change my background because I was going to film my intro and I forgot to add the little head thing that he has. So I got some neon green body paint from Ben Nye and I stuck that on. It's just two lines going up his forehead and I completely forgot about it. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me any other ideas on the art related projects and I shall see you guys next time.